Hey guys, happy Monday. Good old Monday, right? The weather is super nice here in Iowa, so my windows are open and it has been super cloudy and then I got on and then I the sunshine's coming through. Um, I'm not gonna complain like before, but I mean, literally, it's been a cloudy day and then I sit down to do this and then the sun's coming right in. That's all right, we'll make it happen. I'm just making some ornaments uh, today and painting some wood trees, so I thought I'd get in, on here and chit-chat with you guys and show you what I'm doing. If you can see and hear me, um, let me know. Comment below. It's my birthday month. November is my birthday month. Um, so let me know what month your birthday falls on in. I am actually doing some fun giveaways this week on my Instagram page, and I put the link uh, above for my Instagram page, so follow me over there. I have a little heating blanket on me. I always have that on in my office. I'm always cold down here. But um, follow me on Instagram and there's a fun little giveaway. I'm just kind of doing birthday giveaways all week. So if you're over on Instagram, you can find me over there. And if you are watching on replay, so if you don't see the little live up here, that means you're watching me on replay. Just put hashtag replay so I know you were here uh, when you see this video. Uh, there's always a lag when this happens. So I just I just keep going and, and then I find you guys or talk to you guys here kind of at the end when it comes through. So the first thing I'm doing is I found these little trees at, um, sorry, I just got a message. I found these little trees at Target. The dollar area, they were $3. And I am, they didn't look like this. I am just kind of, I need, I wanted to put them in our, we have a little shelf in our bathroom. So this is what they did look like. And our Target didn't have them. I, things are going fast, even faster than they normally do. So I found these at a different Target, but they're just plain wood for $3. I think they're a good deal. I did leave a link though up above for some wood trees that look more like this one. I also did this one. So uh, this I think I got at a yard sale or a thrift store, but I'm just kind of painting them and staining them to make them fit more with what I'm doing this year. So I did this one with the green up on the top and I'm going to leave this one just the bare wood. So, so far I've got all of these done. And then I usually like different heights of things when I'm working on them, but since these aren't different heights, an easy way for you to display them is to use something like these. Uh, we have coasters like these upstairs too. You can just stack these at different heights to get your trees to be a different height on a shelf if they are all the same. So I just wanted to share that tip. You can use other decor things too, but I just had these on hand down here, so they were kind of perfect for that. Um, but I'm just, I'm just painting. I wanna do the bottom half of this one with the green. If you guys have been here for a while, you guys know this is one of my favorite green colors. And I left links for up above for the things, uh, some of the things I'm using. Um, this paint is all over my blog too, so you can find this paint. But uh, I just take, if I can find it in here, uh, Gabrielle's paintbrushes, just little kids paintbrushes and, and do these little projects. A fun project to do with your kids, an easy project to do with your kids. We, when the kids were smaller, Gabrielle still will, will do some things, but when they were smaller, we did all kinds of crafts around the holidays. Did you guys do, do you guys do that? Or did you guys do that? Um, we made homemade ornaments every year. We would make popcorn garland. Who remembers popcorn garland? Did you guys, my mom, I remember sitting down with my mom, me and my sister, and we would string popcorn uh, on, you know, on a string with a needle and prick myself every time with that needle to get it through the popcorn or tear the popcorn apart, you know, either one. So you were actually eating more of it than you were putting on the string. But um, I'll never forget that sitting on the couch, we were watch we wa would watch movies and uh, string popcorn. And the kids and I have done that a few years. They actually liked that. And we put it on one of our trees last year. Did you guys do that? I don't know if anybody's here now, so... That's all right. So I'm just gonna paint this one quick. And uh, I just thought since I'm doing all this, why not get on here and chit chat with you guys and share some of these ideas with you. So 
I, like I said, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna stain the other one that, and I gotta get careful. I'm gonna stain the other one that I haven't done yet and then they will be done and hopefully perfect for the shelf in our bathroom. Um, I don't do a lot of decorating in the bathroom or the actual kitchen. Our kitchen is hooked onto our dining area. So there's stuff in the dining room for decorations, but not tons in the kitchen. Uh, but this, like I said, we just have a little shelf on the bathroom, in the bathroom. And so these will be perfect in there. Can you guys see what I'm doing? I didn't even look up here to make sure you could see what I was doing. I might have to move the camera down for the other ones. And so the other project, okay, I'm done with this. I'll move this to the side. Yep. I have my handy dandy um, hair dryer next to me so then I can make things dry faster. Okay, so the other little ornament thing that I was making, this is super easy. So I am just going simple this year. I just kind of wanted, it all looks different in our living room than years past and I really like it. And I will do a tour with you guys uh, this week, maybe if I get the rest of it done. There's just a wall that I'm waiting for some spray paint to come in and it hasn't come in. So I have a whole wall in the living room that's not done. Um, so, but I was gonna do a little tour and then share you, with you guys how I decorated like our, our hutch in that, that I have shared before. Um, if you guys would like me to do that, I will do that later this week. But so I left a link for these oranges. They're just dried oranges. You can make your own, but um, I literally, a lot of them come with, have holes in them. And I just use twine. And then I just, you can knot it down on the top so it stays in place. And then I do a double knot at top, like so. The wind keeps kind of slamming my door behind me and I keep thinking somebody's opening the door. And then I just hang these on our, I've hung these on our tree upstairs and then I put them in a garland on our mantle. When the lights are on these, they're so pretty. So if you've ever thought about using these, use them, you will love them. I. I'm so glad I got them this year. I thought about doing it and I never did, but super easy. You can dry your own, own, own oranges just in the oven, like on low for a couple hours. Uh, but I just, I just bought these. I left the link up above, easy. It's just a bag of them like this. I have the rest of them are used upstairs, but I will show you these in the tree too when I do the little tour. Um, okay, and then the third little thing that I'm doing is I bought these. Let me show you how they came. I bought these cookie cutters, I wanna say three years ago, four years ago. They came, you guys may have these. They came like this. They were from the Hearth and Hand um, line at Target. So they were like this. And I also got some brass bells and I kind of already stored those away, but I wish I would have done, brought them out and done something like this with them. But so I've had these for this that many years. I haven't done anything with them. And then I thought this year I got to do something with them or I'm going to get rid of them. So what I did was I had Matt while he was watching the football games this weekend, an easy project where he can watch football games. He's on it. It gets done really quick. He can just do it in front of the TV. So what I did before I make a mess here, let me just close these paints and the chair squeaking and there's that sun again, is I had him drill holes on the tops of all of these. So can you see that? Um, I'm trying to wear my blue light glasses more, so I hope that's not disturbing. But okay, I keep seeing some. So I had him drill holes in all the tops of them. And then I took apart, I love old brass bells. I just wrote a post about where to find uh, like antique brass bells. I just think they're so pretty, especially around the holidays. Um, so I picked up this, it had turquoise butterflies and then all of these little bells on it. It was a wind chime at a thrift store last year. I think I got it. I did not like the butterflies. I did not like the wind it as a wind chime, but I loved these little bells. So I just cut apart with wire snips. I cut all of these bells off the wind ch chime and I have a bunch of the bells. They're kind of in a box 
in the other room, but I just grabbed these to share with you guys what I'm doing. So they are a pretty copper color, which would be great, but I wanted them more of a brass color. So can you guys see what I'm doing? Okay, so I kind of have paint and stuff here. So what I did is I grabbed this paint that I already had. I gave you the link up above and I didn't have the lid all the way tight on this when I, before I started this video. I almost dumped this gold paint all over the, all over. <laughs> so it's, it's gold. It's, it's not brass, it's gold. Um, and it's a flat, a matte, which I love. I love matte paint, but so basically all I did was I just painted these and I don't know if it's the copper underneath or if, or what, or if it's just that they're metal bells, but they look more brass to me than gold when they're done. Like an antique brass. They're perfect. Um, so I just, simple, simple, just put paint all over these and then let them dry. Just better. They're just better. They're better for what I'm doing for the Christmas, like in our living room. So, I mean, the copper is a great color too, but just for what I'm doing. So all I'm doing then is I am taking twine again. Again, if you find this at your Dollar Tree, grab a couple of them. I use it for so many projects, not even just Christmas, but just all year round. And did I just paint that one? Okay, that one's dry. And so then I'm just threading it through the top of here, and then I'm gonna thread it through. And you can find bags of bells. You could even do like those jingle bells. I think they have those at the Dollar Tree and add a couple of them onto here. Um, okay. And then I, I mean, how simple, but yet, how perfect, right? So so all I'm doing is I tied it at the top. You guys can see what I'm doing here. I tied it at the top twice. I'm just trying to remember. I have a couple here done. At the top and then again, I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the oranges. I'm gonna make a knot. So just tie it and then I tie it twice. Hang on to the bottoms so then so then you can hang it like this. You guys, it's simple, but I actually like the black with it too, even for the holidays. Uh, Target's got some black decor for the Christmas and I think it's really, really pretty. So this is like, it's funny. I held on to these and I finally, I really am happy with these. They're simple. You can do so much with the, these though. I was gonna show you. You know, I used to scrapbook. Anybody else used to scrapbook? Um, my kids have a lot of scrapbooks, but years ago I quit it. But I have the scrapbook paper still. Um, Gabrielle uses it for crafts, but you could cut scrapbook paper. This one's too big, you know, for the backs of these. And then you could, like with your kids, if you've seen these before, add, you know, the little miniature, like this is a Christmas tree. They've got miniature deer. They've got, you could have, they have little wreaths uh, in the Target dollar spot, they actually have these things right now. And they have different colored trees. So, I mean, you can use all kinds of, here's this a different. So here was a wood grain one behind here with your tree. But I mean, just get a bunch of supplies and put them all over your table and just have the whole family create these just for a, it's just, it's the memories, the most thing, right? But, um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna, I have a few more of these. Let me just do one more of these. And even the small, I don't even mind. It actually, it hits the bottom of this a little bit more, so it actually makes more noise. Uh, but even the, it, they're just tall enough to fit on the small house ornaments. You could do this with any, not ornaments, sorry, they're cookie cutters. You could do this with any cookie cutters you have. If you've got, um, or go to the thrift store and buy a bag of uh, cookie cutters. 
you could do this with any cookie cutters. Um, I did link some house cookie cutters if you liked the house. Um, and then these came in black. You could definitely just spray paint them if you liked the black or make them red or make them green or metallic color, gold or silver if you, well, they are silver, Never mind. They're cookie cutters, but you know what I mean. So yeah, so I'm just gonna. Does anybody have any questions? I can see some people are coming in. Um, oh, I mean, against the metal, they're like real, they're like bells. They're, it's the little things. I'm just excited about those little guys. Super simple project. Does anybody have any questions about about anything that I've, see, I can, I cannot see comments. I can just see, I just wish this was always easy. Always, always, always. Teresa, are you in New Zealand? Oh my gosh, how amazing. New Zealand, New Zealand. December birthday, February birthday. I said to Matt, I, popcorn garland. Do you remember that? And I remember I used to, you, you'd try to jam that needle in there. And I would always get hurt, but, and then I'd always break the popcorn. So then they never ended up on the string. And, but it's something I'll never forget. So it worked. It was a good memory. Um, I was telling Matt, on November 1st, when November, I said, Matt, it's November 1st, so it's my birthday month. Let's just, you know, let's just not do one day anymore. Can we just do a full month of just birthday? And it doesn't have to be something big every day, just something little. Uh, he hasn't caught on yet. What is today? I don't even know. Is today the 9th? Is, I don't even know when the birthday When the, my birthday's not until the 14th, but I just thought... Yeah, so I think I'm gonna hang them. Yeah, you could make these a garland in themselves. So I have a, I have a really big rope over there that you could, um, that you could string them on and do a garland of these. You could hang them in a tree. You could hang them in garland. You know, like a greenery garland. Um, I'm seeing a lot of people now act like this is longer. This is a cinnamon stick, but like going to your yard and getting a long stick and then people are hanging different things, you know, from the long stick. And so these would be cute on top of each other all the way down and the wreaths in between. So there's so many places and, and, and things you can do with these. Um, so they don't have to just go in your tree, but they're, they're perfect little ornaments for your tree. And I only have, I wish I would have, the brass bells are way... <laughs> They're gone. They're not, they're not gone. They're just stored away and I'm not going to climb back through to get all that stuff, but um, they would be really pretty. They were just a bell hearth in hand again. And I think I got these at 90% off. So I got three for, I think 10 cents or something, something crazy. So I just bought a bunch of them and I'm like, I'll do something with them. I'll do something with them and every year. I haven't done anything. And so now this year, and it, it always works out like this for me, it's a thrift store find and well, that's just how it works. I don't know. And the bells, I've really loved all the bells that I'm seeing. And I put a lot of bells upstairs. And so I like the brass. And I, like I said, I'm just trying to go simple this year and just, isn't everybody, this year has just been nuts for everybody, right? So, okay. Do you have any other questions? I'm going to finish this. And sometimes here's a little tip. That sun is Um, so sometimes with your twine, it gets like this and I don't have tape next to me. You can tape your ends and then they will, this one I might just have to cut or just cut a little bit off and then they won't get, because when you drill down into the metal, the metal kind of pushes, I might be able to show you this. Can you guys see that up in there? The metal kind of pushes out. So when you're pushing the twine up through this, it kind of gets caught. Um, so that's what happened to me just now. But tape, the, if you had it taped, it wouldn't get caught. I just did it again. I, oh no, I got it through. There we 
we go. Hang this one a little lower. Like I said, you could use jingle bells. You could use you could use any kind of bells you want. You could you could honestly, I mean, I could, you could string wood beads down the middle middle of these too if you didn't want to do the bells. You could put the paper on the back and then do wood beads. I could go on for days, but I won't bore you with that. Okay, I think I answered all the questions. And like I said, if you're not if you're not following me over on November 24th, October. Okay, see now I'm seeing some more of these. November 24th. Uh, Gabrielle's birthday is November 29th. And then Landon and Matt share an August birthday. I don't know how, another August. Okay, now I'm seeing you guys. Oh, why does Facebook do this? I feel bad if I miss your questions or... Um, I'll have no ideas for Christmas decorations. I do too. I mean, I, I, I do some of the same things, but sometimes I just want something different. Uh, just something different. So... Okay, I'm just making sure I get through all these. I just, I don't wanna miss anybody's comments or questions, questions for sure. Okay, I think I got through all of those. Um, all right, and then like I said, I will share this week how I'm decorating upstairs and, and down here too. Um, I'll show you kind of the different things that I'm doing and, and maybe uh, give you guys some ideas for decorating your house, so. All right, that's it. I'm going to finish these projects and have a great rest of your Monday.